So you've seen all these people online going Godspeed, or maybe you've seen this guy breaking the world record for the longest spinning DNA. Looks familiar. And I know what you're thinking, sure, I'll learn those tomorrow, but is there something that I can learn right now? Well, you're in luck because I have three tricks that are actually a little bit easier to learn before you get really good. Because these tricks are easier to do with a slow spinning yo-yo. And so in this video, I'm gonna teach you these tricks with the Origin yo-yo. And if you are interested in learning tricks like this and going all the way up to those more advanced tricks, I definitely recommend you check out our free Yo-Yo Tricks app. On that app, you can learn over 400 tricks. It keeps track of your progress and you even level up as you learn, which makes it super fun. So the first trick I'm gonna teach you is called the tape measure. And it just takes a normal throw, but instead of throwing in front of you, you wanna to turn to the side just like this. If you also know the breakaway, you could use that instead. But again, if we're not so good, we're just going to do a normal throw right to our side, not too hard. And then we're going to lift the string up. And what we want to do is put the yo-yo into our hand. And as soon as it touches our hand, we let the string go. And you see the yo-yo just winds itself up right in your hand, just like a tape measure. Now, if the yo-yo is not winding all the way up, that might mean you need to throw it a little bit harder. If it bounces out of your hand, that might mean that you threw it too hard. Now, there's a couple of variations you can do with this that make it even nicer. Uh, one is you can, instead of dropping the string, you can just bring your hands together just like this. And so that kind of is like pulling the, uh, the tape back into the tape measure. But another way you can do it is you can bring your bottom hand up to your top hand just like that. And so there's a few different ways that you can do it, experiment with it. And I think just about anybody who sees this the first time will be pretty surprised at what just happened. Now for the second trick, you're going to start with just a normal throw in front of you. Again, you don't have to throw it super hard. And then what you're going to do is you are going to push into the string and lift it up so that you can set the yo-yo right onto the string and then you're going to bring your hands together just like this. Now when you put the yo-yo onto the string, what you don't want to do is you don't want to have your hands misaligned because you can see that causes the yo-yo to rotate and that will kill the spin and if your yo-yo is already spinning kind of slow, then it's really going to kill it. And so you just want to make sure to have your hands perfectly aligned and as long as you do that, it won't really kill the spin too much. And then you just bring your hands together and once your hands are together, you're just gonna pull up both hands a little bit, which will cause the yo-yo to come back. Now, what you'll see is you'll see a double string at the top above the yo-yo and then a single string coming back down to your yo-yo hand. And that's what lets you know that you did it right. If you pull up a little bit too much and the yo-yo bounces up too high before it comes back, then these strings can kind of get misaligned and that'll keep the trick from working. But if you end up like this, you probably did it right. And so all you need to do now is quickly pull your hands apart and you want to pull them apart kind of evenly. Sometimes I even move both hands down because it makes the trick look a little bit more special. And when you do that, you can see that the yo-yo has now started spinning again and you can actually just pull it right back up. And again, this is one of those tricks that when people see it, they just won't even understand what just happened, but it's really not that hard. You just get the yo-yo onto the string, bring your hands together, pull them up, and then you're gonna pull your hands apart. You can see that starts the yo-yo again, and that is the trick stop and go. Now the third trick is probably the easiest one of the bunch. Now for this one, instead of turning this way, I actually turn to the inside a little bit. Again, you don't wanna to throw too hard because what you're gonna do is take the string right off your finger and then pull the yo-yo up, and as soon as it gets close to your hand, you can toss the yo-yo right up into the air. Now you can toss it as high as you want it to go, but just make sure that you can catch it and that uh, you're not over hard surfaces or you might ding your yo-yo all up. Now, if you have a shirt that has a pocket and you toss it up into the air, you can even reach out and catch it in your pocket, which just makes it that much more impressive. Now, after learning these three tricks, you might be thinking, oh, I wish there were three more tricks that were super easy that I could learn. Well, I've got you covered right here. Or you might be thinking, you know, I'm kind of ready to just go for DNA. Well, I've got another video that I teach you how to do DNA with no experience necessary. But no matter what you do, definitely download our free app for Apple or Android devices so you can learn a whole bunch of other tricks with tutorials just like this.